Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna hit the start button now. Go for it. <laughs> you know me. I have to. I have to try and make this more exciting because, unfortunately, I just can't take these games. And yet, this is like my favorite game. Yeah, favorite. This, this always works out well. I don't know. I just simply cannot do this game. Oh, do you want to skip this stuff? Oh, true. Yeah, we really don't need yeah. to see the uh, the story stuff. If you don't know the story of Fatal Frame uh, 2, I will break it down for you. Okay, there are two sisters walking along in the woods. Oh, they no, that's not really the beginning of the story. Yeah, oh. this, is, this is from my perspective. Fine, okay? fine. There's two girls walking along in the woods, Such and they pass by... I'm a hater. They pass by this creepy Japanese village. Mm. Now, the girl in the middle of the path decides she's um, going to try and emulate... Uh, th that, oh, you're so off right now, it's not funny. Well, this is, this is from my point of view. This is what I think it looks like. Okay. Okay, so the two girls on the path, one of them decides she's going to pull uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and get thrown from the path as if by from Uncle Phil, okay, and fall down and land in this creepy-ass Japanese village where there's all kinds of red butterflies and ghosts and people who don't realize they're dead, but they should realize it, and then the game just takes you through a bunch of pitch-black areas. Or areas that look like they're off like a really old film strip. Wow, you're so off, it's not funny. I don't know, from my point of view, that's pretty accurate. That whole path thing happened when they were kids. They're now older. They're hanging by a lake, well, river. An mm -hmm. area they used to hang because a dam's going to be made. Oh, I see. Yes. And then the one sister wanders off, the other one chases, and they get stuck. And you really think that's better than what I said? By, like, leaps and bounds, but okay. Well, no, she was still a dumbass and jumped off the path. It just means they've fell. gone... She fell. She slipped. She fell. From the fell. middle. The path is wider than she is long. How did she fall? She couldn't have slipped and fallen. That's nonsense. She slipped and fell. Don't buy it. People well, you know, back the then, graphics weren't as, you know, super. What do you mean, back then? What year was this? This was... Where did this come out here? I'm just trying to look it up. Well, this 2004! Was, this was a... Yeah. Well, there's also the fact that they were running along haphazardly. She probably got close to, close to the edge, and it collapsed a little. And what? Go back for one second. Okay. If um. you don't mind. Just on the note about the graphics. That actually... I do like that. The, um... Just the distance. I think that's really cool. That's a nice picture. It is nice. Okay. It's a pretty game. Just because if you go back one more time... Which no no that's alright doesn't matter doesn't matter never mind basically I, it looked like the background was turning to match with perspective I thought it was really cool uh, uh, I wouldn't go so far as to call this a pretty game because most of it is I don't want to say monochrome but it's as close as you can get without actually being monochrome and that's not exactly necessarily beautiful because the Xbox didn't really do it that well I think on a 360 or a PS3 something that could maybe put out a few more uh, shades of gray, I guess you could say. Not make such a harsh contrast. It would look a little bit nicer. Um, That's just me. It's just the way they did the game, right? No, no, I realize that. You're and supposed they had to, to be in this abandoned village. And, ooh, ghost. You're supposed to be in this abandoned village. And Oh, no, no, totally. I get that. And I mean, it's just... it. It's very, you know... I think it would look better on... I mean, obviously it would look better with the, the next-gen consoles. And the ribbons are red. That's not monochrome. Please don't get me started on the two sisters. <laughs> they drive me absolutely insane. They are so retarded. Yeah. So unbelievably retarded. Well, no, that sister, the one that walked by and the one you don't control, she's the one who needs a good beating. They both do. No, actually, the Mio is, is actually quite good. She really should have just abandoned her sister because her sister was an idiot, but, you know. Well, I can understand you not wanting to abandon. That makes perfect sense. I don't have the camera yet. But the first time that she found her, she would have just grabbed her and run. Oh no, they're trapped. You can actually try to go back the way you came to get out, and suddenly there's this giant tree in your way and you can't get out. You can't get around the giant tree? No. I want you to think about what you just said. Can't get around it's the giant It's not even like tree. old school RPGs, <laughs> where there's, there's like a wall of trees and you're like, alright, well there's a wall of trees, I guess I can't walk past it because for some reason my dudes can't slip in between. No. One single no, no, fucking tree. No, no, there's lots of trees. There's a forest. But the giant tree is... Walks the path. Yes. And they could just go around it. 
and well, slip in through. Now ooh, I know. Ooh. I realize this is the cutscene that freaks me out the most. Okay. I hate this cutscene. Fair enough. I realize if they did that, you wouldn't have a game, right? It'd be like a secret ending where they just like. Well, presumably because the village was cursed. Even if they went around the tree, they would just find themselves circling around and back in the village. Okay. Which I'll give Because lots them. of people have tried to escape. But, I mean, either the de then the designers would have had to do that whole, you walk in one direction, you go through a couple screens, and then suddenly you're back where you started. Would have just been Pleasantville all over again? And that big tree is, is um, significant anyways. Oh, yes, that's right. I forgot. That's like the... What is it? Not Willow Life. What was that? Is that the tree they put over what? the hole leading to hell, or was that a mine? I don't want to um. Bear in mind, I can't totally remember on account of me really not enjoying playing this game. No, that's the tree that has a secret tunnel that can get you out. Right. Okay. But you have to get the items to get the tree open. To get oh no! Wait, is that the secret tunnel? Mmm, you know, it's been remember. a really long time. I've played this game like five times, and I know there's two places. There's like the shiny place and the tree. One of them leads to the abyss, and one of them okay. is the tunnel out of the village. Okay. I just came up which is which all of a sudden. God, this place is a shithole. Well... Take the candle with you. Can't, no. So I know you can't. At this I'm, point, not, I'm not talking to you. I'm, uh, I'm sort of yelling at the characters. If they just pulled their skirts down and grabbed the fucking candle, they'd be a lot better off through this. A lot of how this game works is... You'll see ghosts, apparitions, walking around, and usually you want to follow them because, yeah, I like that. They lead you to your next objective, or they'll lead you to whatever piece of the puzzle will help you get to the next part, and so on and so forth. Okay. It's more or less the uh, level designer or whoever takes care of that, which I think is a level designer, or storyboarding or whatever, uh, a way of directing the player, right? Because all games need them. But for this, it's the ghost. It's a ghost and just the sheer stupidity, like, I don't know. Think, for example, the candle's a great, a, great ex a great example. Just pick up the candle, and I'm not talking about what you're limited to as a player in game. I just mean from speaking again like I like to do, from the character point of view, because I like to immerse myself in the story. You just picked up a candle, hey, half the shit would be easier. Well, actually, this game's, this, everything around here is really well lit. Like, there's no point in the game where you're trying to investigate something, and then it's like, oh, it's too dark, I can't see, I need to find a light source. Because yeah. everything's already lit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's There's a light source, but like, for example, down this hallway, right about there, there's parts like, there are parts like that in the game, where it's just, it's pitch black, and if you had a candle, I realize it's harder to program all the, the moving light, but... Also, the cameras. Cameras are a pain in the ass. I realize the door is slightly ajar. I want to open the door. I am sorry. Can't you say the door is slightly ajar and then open it? So I don't have to hit it again? <laughs> it's like Resident Evil when they're like, you found this item. Do you want to pick it up? Are you sure? Because if you don't want to pick it up, we understand. <laughs> Get out of my way. Oh, that would be funny. Yay. See, look, I got a flashlight. Yeah, that's true. But from the character point of view, you didn't know you were getting a flashlight. At that point, I just put the candle down and take the flashlight. That's just me. Not swift at all. And again, I don't... Bear in mind, I really don't know much about Japanese culture, but I'm pretty sure if you're going to go hiking in the woods, you probably don't want to wear that little outfit. <laughs> just a thought. Well, Poison Ivy, I don't know. They weren't far from home, and... So they live near this fucking village? And they don't know to stay the hell away? Well, it's a whole the village disappeared long, long time ago. So are they already dead, or what's the deal? The sisters? Yeah, so they're they're not dead. No. Right. They get trapped by the curse of the village. The curse of the village. And also because they greatly resemble the two twins that caused the curse. Okay. But the curse of the village, they don't know about. Oh, warning, spoilers. I'm going to put that at the beginning, actually. Yeah, very smooth. <laughs> the, uh, so they don't... They, they do know about the town, or they don't know about the town? Uh, they've probably heard the folklore. But, I mean, not that many people have gone missing in this village, actually. Very few people. You know a lot about this nonsense. That's because I love this game. I've played it Games. way too much. 
I could even tell you all the lineage of all the characters. That at that point we go into the obsession rating. <laughs> that's that's too much for me. I already don't like the characters. I don't even know what they had for breakfast a year ago, or who their mom did. <laughs> Not a concern for oh, me. Oh, do you want to know who their mom is? No. Ah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I am totally good. What you don't know how to use the camera? Um, I don't remember. Oh, fair enough. I just wanted to know which button to raise the camera. Everything else is pretty like. You know, it's the Xbox controller, so therefore, to use the camera, I hit the trigger. That's... yeah, that's not so bad. Grab the shiny... Yay! Medicine. I got some herbs going on. Oh. The other thing, too, is I bet this place just smells like ass. Old clothes don't, st don't really smell that nice. Especially old towels or old whatever the hell those things were. Alright, take a little peek. There you go. Yeah, there you go. The old woman. Now, if it's blue, it's a benign ghost, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. And do you have unlimited film, or no? Um, that's a lowest setting. The lowest setting, okay. I think. Maybe not. <laughs> so you can't just machine gun it through? No. I Another think reason in I couldn't one play of this them, game. The lowest setting was unlimited. I don't think in this one. Mm. I think it's not the. Another reason I really couldn't play this game, because I can. Check the I don't know. With a weapon, I like to. I tend to like to just machine gun it. Let's see. Nope, not unlimited. Limited film. All right. Oh no! Wait. There. That's the unlimited one. Okay, I see. So you're just gonna use the weaker film? Yeah. Well, I'm wandering around and taking photos of things. I know when the first fight is. Not that it matters. At the uh, the Type 14, you get tons of that stuff. Hmm, fair enough. Just tons. Can you turn the flashlight off or no? No. The flashlight will go off. Right, and then it, if the little bar at the bottom right hand, the little filament turns red, and then there's a bad ghost that comes and tries to rape you, right? Oh, no, the it doesn't go off when there's ghosts around. There's just certain points in the game where you lose the flashlight. And oh, stuff. I see. One thing I'm very glad for, this game does not have any ghosts with tentacles. Because this could have gotten so wrong so very fast. Oh, where do I go next? Don't ask me, lady. I got no clue. I don't remember. I used to have this memorized. I don't anymore. Was that the uh, place with the body under the blanket? Yep. There you go. Looks like a, oh, yeah. Looks like a silkworm. Ooh, I think I might have c should have come in here, actually. I think I guessed right. Um... That body used to freak the heck out of me. I thought it didn't do anything in the entire game. No, it doesn't. Awesome. It just... Oh, you're not supposed to go in there yet. Rawr. So Ugh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, as soon as you did that, the Inspector Gadget team came running through my head. <laughs> 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 that would be... You know what? This game needs some unlockable characters. That does. Like Inspector Gadget running through his little flashlight finger. <laughs> Ghost comes, go go gadget obscure a camera, pops out of his head, freaks a ghost out. Oh, now I'm just entertaining myself. I still think that'd be pretty awesome, though. 